basically boil down to special teams tonight, or was, is it more than that? Exactly what I was going to tell you. Well, no matter what your question was, special teams, we gave up three goals on the penalty kill, didn't convert on the power play, even uh, five on five. Bottom line, special teams, uh, Achilles heel for us tonight. What was the biggest thing you're part of the penalty kill? Uh, what was the biggest thing as far as the penalty kill went? Well, the first one, um, we tried to cut the play behind the net. They made a good play in front, vacated the net front. Uh, second one, unfortunate, off my foot. Third one off the end boards uh, after they broke pressure and, and made a good play. But, you know, for the most part, it was good. It was just, um, you know, vacate a dangerous area of the ice in the first one. Second one, what can you do? It goes off a foot. Third one, um, you know. Not great, but um, bottom line of special teams, no doubt. It seemed like when you guys got your chances, there were a lot wide, good chances that went wide or over the top of the net. It seems like you maybe, I don't know if you guys were being a little too fine or, I mean, your shot went in the net, but it seemed like a lot of good chances went wide or over the top. Uh, you're right again. I think um, we've been like that all year. We look for the perfect shot, maybe the perfect play too often, and Sometimes the play's right in front of us. Take the easy shot sometimes. I think we overcomplicate it. And, uh, you know, that's for sure a factor. And, um, you know, another uh, another thing of emphasis that we kind of got to work on and clean up. I mean, it's tough when you start the other team's breakout when you shoot wide and rims around the boards. And we've done that far too much, not only tonight, but I think on the year two. I mean, um, we want to look for the pretty play, I think, too often. On that note, Alex talked about kind of the snowball effect of overpassing. How do you think you can, not just you, but the team, can break out of that psyche when it just keeps happening? Well, I mean, um, look where we are. It, it hasn't worked so far, so why not, why not change it up? I think, uh, you know, when you're struggling, um, sometimes simplicity is the key. And um, we have a young, skilled team in here that sometimes um, – we want to look for the perfect play, and sometimes that's just not the play to, to make. But, um, you know, sometimes that comes with experience and uh, going through things like this. But, um, you know, we got to snap out of it. I know it's been a problem, and you never want to get down 2 nothing, but especially against this hockey club. I mean, as good as they are, 2 nothing, it, it, it just seems like a huge hole to get out of, doesn't it? It does. I mean, uh, and it's listen, it's a good hockey team, but they're experienced too. They, they know what it takes to get it done. And, uh, that showed uh, in spades throughout the night tonight. I think, um, you know, there wasn't a big moment in the game where it felt like um, they were in danger of losing the lead. Um, they sustained uh, pressure when they needed to. They scored when they needed to. And um, they capitalized on their chances, especially on their power play. Like I said, that was the difference. Can you put your finger on why you guys so often fall behind early in games? No. I, I, I mean, if we, if we knew we'd do it. Um, Sometimes that just happens. I've been on teams where that's happened in the past before. Um, I've been on teams where um, we've been up in games uh, early. It's that's just I don't know, kind of the the theme this year. It seems that um, we're playing from behind a lot, especially at home, and it's it's tough to play catch up in this league uh, no matter what, especially when you're behind the eight ball like that.